Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing a 2022 prediction video. Now, I don't have all the sets that I think are going to be out here, but I do have a select few that I would like to share. Now, on the topic of microfighters, I have two, which I think are pretty likely, and I think that is going to be, a, well, this isn't a microfighter, but, you know, I just put it there. Uh, I think it's going to be likely that we see a Razor Crest. They've been doing a lot of Razor Crest. They made a big one, and they've also had two advent calendar inclusions of the Razor Crest. So I think they're going to do a Razor Crest versus Moff Gideon's TIE Fighter. I think it would be a great inclusion to see Moff Gideon in a $10 or $20 set, because I think it's going to be either those two. It's not Sunstone, which is going to be it yet. And then I think for the second one, uh, or the second batch of microfighters, I think it's going to be something from Book of Boba Fett or the Bad Batch. Now, I'm not sure which is going to be which, but I think we're definitely going to see something from Mandalorian in the form of that Moff Gideon's TIE Fighter, which is the one that has the folding wings. I think that would be a great play, uh, play feature, and the microfighter, I think that they could definitely pull that off, and I think it would be a great microfighter set. To have both of those in either a dual pack or a single pack, I, thought the, I think those will just fly off the shelves because I think they would be great microfighters. Now, on to the battle packs. There have been a lot of speculations as to what battle packs could be. Now, I'm personally thinking, now I'm going to throw this out there because most people are going off something more recent. I think it would be quite a surprise and maybe even kind of cool to see a Jedi Temple Guard battle pack. Now, what I was thinking with this set is you'd get two Jedi Temple Guards, right? You know, they've got their big lightsaber staffs with the two yellow blades. I think two of those in the set, and then I would say two 501st Troopers, but we have gotten the 501st battle pack. So what I would say is we would get two Phase 2 Clone Troopers. Now, because originally I would have thinking that it would be uh, Project Nightfall, I think that was the code name for the Order 66 raid of the Jedi Temple. Now, I think getting two Phase 2 Clone Troopers after a while of not getting them would be a great inclusion, especially for a battle pack. I think that would be pretty good because you get the Clone Troopers, you get yourself some Jedi Temple Guards because they've never made them in a mini uh, in minifig form. So I think getting two of them, I think they're quite a phenomenal character they have they don't have too much on screen appearance but i think they would be great to get as figures now on to my last prediction i don't have any large set predictions however i do have a prediction for the four plus set and what i think the four plus set is going to be is i think that it's actually going to be a 30 dollar y-wing bomber now i don't think it's going to be resistance i think it's going to be a rebel y-wing in yellow yellow is the color i think it's going to be a small scale Rebel Y-Wing, and I think that would be a great 4 plus set. You could probably see a Rebel Pilot and a Droid like we've seen, but we could also get an inclusion of potentially something else, probably like a Stormtrooper like they did with this X-Wing. Uh, so I think three minifigures could be great. Now they could still do two, but I think three would be hitting the mark there because you could have some opposition, and I think getting a $30 Y-Wing would be a great inclusion. Uh, for the 4 plus lineup since we've had an A-Wing, we've had uh, two t X wings we've had a TIE Fighter, and we've had a Snowspeeder, so I think a Y-Wing, especially with the rumor of a Y-Wing coming out, would be good to see, because many people have speculated that there will be some kind of Y-Wing, and I think that Y-Wing is actually going to be a 4 plus set. Now, whether we will see, whether it is actually the Rebel Y-Wing that I've speculated is another thing that we'll have to wait for. But I think it's pretty certain that it would be a Rebel Y-Wing. Because I don't think that they would do a Captain Rex Y-Wing in the 4 Plus lineup. I would think that they would wait maybe for the summer wave of next year to do that. So I'm not too sure. But those are my predictions. I don't have any large set predictions because I'm not too sure. But I think I've made a few fair points of likeliness to happen. Now I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye.